Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the previous video, we did the rest of the Akana Graveyard little side quest thing. We did the uh, Night 2 and Night 3 graves, which gave us a piece of art and an empty bottle, respectively. In today's episode, we're going to be heading to Ikana Canyon proper, and uh, I want to give fair warning, this is my third time recording this video. I had some computer issues based on human error. Um, that basically caused the videos to be super laggy. Um, I think I've resolved that problem. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna move on to bigger and better things. All right. If you recall, in order to head to Akana Canyon, which is the fourth and final area of the game, at least the areas that contain temples, we need to use a pona to hop over some fences. And then, uh, as you can see, when we head there, instead of heading left to the graveyard, we'll be going straight ahead. And previously, we were unable to go straight ahead, and in all honesty, we are still kind of unable to go straight ahead, but I will show you how to get over that. Alright, so I kind of need some arrows, first of all. Arrows and cash would be nice, but arrows for sure. Um, you know what? Let's take a lap. I'm gonna take a quick lap around Terminal Field. Um, we're gonna grab arrows, because... Where we are going, we need arrows. So, yeah. Um, anyway, if anyone cares about the computer trouble, I can explain it very briefly. Basically, uh, my computer is a laptop, and I have it on my old computer, the one that broke. Um, and it's, um, so it, it's maybe like, eh, like a foot and a half off the ground uh, on, on a pedestal. And uh, I thought, like, that's crazy, I don't want to kick it off and damage it, so I'll put it on a much lower pedestal. And um, that lower pedestal put way too much heat in the CPU, and it caused it to strain. And therefore, my CPU usage would go to, like, 80%, instead of the very comfortable 20% that it's supposed to be at. Uh, in all honesty, I look over and it's, I'm terrified right now, because it's at 35. Now it's 31. It's still 31. Now it's 32. I'm gonna stop looking at it. Anyway, there's this weird guy here who has got like an Elmo nose, or maybe it's a singular eyeball. Uh, but if we go up and have a chat with him, hee hee hee! What are you doing in a place like this? Ikana Hill beyond here is a place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter then you must obtain the mask containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Without that mask, you cannot save their souls. Until then, I will not let you pass by here. Hee 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 hee. Alright, well I happen to have that mask. It's the Garrow's mask, which we got from the Gorman brothers. That's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader of the ninja. Ninja, I think is the plural of... It's one ninja, many ninja, not ninjas, but anyway. The leader of the ninja who once spied on the hilltop castle with the blood-stained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander beyond here. Hee hee hee. He's gonna grow us a little tree and fade away with his little red nose slash singular eye. If it's an eye, why does it have pupils? These are the real questions. Oh lord, my CPU usage is 79. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna try. I don't even know. This is my third attempt recording the video. Legitimately, whatever I get is whatever I get. This is a Nejiron, which is, uh, apparently filled with gunpowder. Now, people think that Nejiron, Neji apparently is Japanese for imposter, and Ron is like Goron, and they look like imposter Gorons. So, I, I could see it. Yeah, it works. Okay, we put on the stone mask. They, uh, will not appear. They are all over this area, though, so you do kind of have to watch out for them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of bob and weave through here, and uh, we're gonna make our way to the proper Akana Canyon. Um, you'll see why they call it Akana Canyon. It is, in fact, uh, an area near a river. Maybe not a canyon. More like a bluff. Anyway, here it is in all its laggy glory. Because apparently, this is my life now. 72% CPU usage. Okay, I tried switching the uh, hardware encoder to the... Uh, system-based one instead of the OBS-based one. I don't know if it's gonna work. I really just want to get through this recording. Anyway, um, what we have to do here is cross the river, and we can cross the river, of course, by using our ice arrows on these Octorok. Here they are. They're gonna shoot me. Please don't do damage. They did damage. Whatever. Freeze! And the other one over here can also take a 
Chill pill. Take a chill pill. Come on. Take a chill pill. There we go. Okay. And we can hop across. And hop across again. And hop across a third time. And we're across. Cool. All right. So I'm going to get a little closer so I can hook shot to this dead tree. A lot of dead trees in Akana Canyon. I wonder if they uh, don't water their stuff or something. Well, you'll be surprised, actually. When we reach the top, you'll see that no one lives here. It's like the first area in the game that's actually abandoned. So, yeah. If we head up here, you'll see there's Tingle up there. If you need to buy a map, there's your man. And Owl Statue. Cha-ching! Cool. Alright, so. What we need to do now, let's go ahead and equip this. And what else? This. Cool, so Ocarina, Stone Mask, and Garrow Mask. If we walk forward a little bit, Tata will get angry. I know this because this is my third time recording this. I can't explain it, but I sense there's a thirst for blood looming all around us. Don't you have a mask that can summon the unseen? Uh, I have a Garrow's mask, but that doesn't really summon the unseen. Oh, it's a ninja! Master, you called! Nani? What are you? So we're obviously not his ninja master. Um, Garrow is super easy. You just block him and then you stab him. Very simple. All right, let's see what we got. R regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. To survive the dried up river on Akana Hill, we must go to the spring water cave. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that is the way of Oscaro. He's gone. All right, so, well, I, I definitely want a river. I'm gonna equip these stone masks here because there are some very, very evil Gibdo. Just kidding. They're very, very evil Redead. I said Redead. If you burn the uh, wraps, you can see that it is, in fact, a Redead in a Halloween costume. Alright, so if we head up here, we'll head into the Spring Water Cave. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at this. Spring Water Cave. And she prohibited due to ghost sightings. Okay, well, that's no big deal. I ain't afraid of no ghost, as the Ghostbusters said. Hey, is that a skull? That's a cool looking skull. It's a really cool looking skull. Dang. Alright. Well, purple goo, purple goo, swim! Or a cutscene. I'll take that too. What business have you in Akana Kingdom? Land where only the dead roam. There is no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer, Sharp, shall play. And join the ranks of the dead. And, uh, yeah, so this ghost, apparently his name is Sharp, he's gonna poison us. Well, at least we can swim, swim around in the purple goo now, right? Cool, we're swimming in goo! Wait a minute. Link's too young to die! Can I not get out of here? Did I just trap myself? Hold on. I think I gotta switch into Zora form. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, yeah, Zora form. Get me out of here. Thank you. Heaven's sakes. Okay. Link is too young, and we have a Let's Play to do. So, hey Sharp, your brother Flat sends his regards. If you don't remember, in the first gravestone, Flat taught us the Song of Storms, which is to counter Sharp's curse. What? What is this? This song? No, it can't be. This song. Apparently our song was so good that the river's like, yeah, I'll start flowing again. Can you believe that? How good of a musician do we have to be? I think I said musician instead of musician, but whatever. Yes, so the water will flow from the spring cave, and that will cause this weird house that I didn't pay any attention to. I completely forgot to mention it in the third attempt of me recording it. Basically, if you go to that house, um, the door is locked, and a little girl will say, Don't come in here, my dad's not one of you. Um, yeah. So, by getting the water to flow, the water wheel will spin, and that will cause the music to be played. And the re-dead slash Gibdo hate the music so much that they will go away. You see, they're just gonna collapse over 
And that'll be that. That's the end of them. Very simple, very cool. Um, actually, I think I made a mistake. Did, um, did I say that they hated the song? Because, I mean, that's not entirely true, as you're um, about to, to see. They certainly have feelings toward the song. But they like the song so much they will raise their hands, shimmy back and forth, and descend into the ground. Um, it kind of sounds like a merry-go-round song, so I don't know, maybe they like merry-go-rounds. Who am I to judge? I'm the kind of guy who has a really laggy bit in the middle of his recording, because that's just me. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. The door is unlocked. That's the significant part of this. And we get to have a little, you know, talk with Sharp here. Flat, dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, if you, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. You mean CPU usage? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> to do that. I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Akana Castle, waiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. And I have made mine. Dear CPU, please stop doing what you're doing. It kind of stopped. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Um, this video is weird in all honesty. It's broken up into two parts for me, so I'm going to end it off here. And, um, hopefully it's not laggy. If it is, then I'll have to do a fourth recording. Shout out to that little girl right there. She was the one inside the house. Um, anyway, that's gonna be all for now, so I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me that you can spread my videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Until then, as always, take care.